And as conflict unfolds between diaspora groups, Foreign Affairs, Foreign Affairs Minister Kamina Johnson-Smith is exuding confidence as the government prepares for the biennial conference. The minister on Wednesday revealed successful executions for the event so far, choosing to withhold comment on the standoff at the Global Jamaica Diaspora Conference. Sorry, that's the Global Jamaica Diaspora Council. Ramon Gordon continues. Despite controversy threatening to cloud the government's 10th biennial conference, Foreign Affairs Minister Kamina Johnson-Smith remains confident ahead of the event in June. Speaking at a post-cabinet press briefing on Wednesday, Minister Smith said the event's international launches have gone off without a hitch. We are anticipating welcoming a good group of persons from far and wide because now we're engaging with our members in continental Europe, Latin America and the Caribbean, and as far away as Asia, Africa and the Middle East, as well as our traditional families from the USA, Canada and the UK. The global and regional launches are now underway. Our global launch took place on the 4th. We had a record 3,000 persons joining us online, so you must know the excitement level is high and there was standing room only in our Kingston Hall down at the ministry. State Minister in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Orlando Terrilong is currently away on government business participating in virtual satellite launches for the event. He stopped in the UK first and then went on to continental Europe. He's headed to Miami tomorrow. I'm delighted to share that preparations are progressing very smoothly. 80% of our booths are booked out and we have our GK Group, JN Group, VM Group, National Bakery, Digicel, Island Car Rental, Jamaica Tourist Board, Blue Maho Capital, Pinnacle Developments, NHT, JMMB, Stock Exchange, Student Loan, the Convention Center, which is giving us a very tiny discount, Ibero Star Hotel, Ocean 10 Hotels, and we are endorsed by the Jamaica Umbrella Group of Churches. The minister did not offer comments on the ongoing conflict at the Global Jamaica Diaspora Council, where a rival faction has threatened to host a similar event while using the same name. She also did not advise on whether the registering of the council's name by the dissenting group in the U.S. would affect the government's business in the region. Through our conferences, which are held every two years, more Jamaicans with more ideas, more talents and more resources come to the table for us to work together. It has always been big, but this year it's going to be bigger. Ramon Gordon for CVM News.